Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today with a colouring book and supplies haul. It's November so this is likely to be the last uh, haul of the year due to the fact that obviously Christmas is coming so uh, a lot of money is going out on um, Christmas presents and other things that I need to get in. Um, so this will be the last one until possibly after Christmas. I might get some colouring supplies for Christmas, I don't know. I might not. If I do, that is fantastic. If I don't, it's not the end of the world because, hey, <laughs> once Christmas is over, although I'll be spending a lot of stuff on baby stuff, I should hopefully be able to buy the odd book here and there. So let's get on with the haul. So the first thing I got was the Tagal sharpener. Everybody has recommended this. They say it's fantastic. Um, I thought I'd give it a go. So I got the blue one, not for any particular reason, just because it was... Um, but well, they only had three colours on Amazon for UK, and that was blue, pink, and, and black. So, and the black one was really expensive, and the pink and the blue one weren't, so I went for the blue. So, I've seen on Grace's channel that she said on oh, yeah, Grace's Grace on Fleca, Grace's colouring corner that you should sharpen a graphite pencil first <coughs> to sharpen the blades. So I shall do that. I shall give that a try. So I got that. I got two bottles of stickles this month as well. I got. True blue, that gorgeous, and green. And I'm thinking Christmas is coming, so I will be using those a lot with the rest of my uh, stickles and other glitter glues. I got three more of the Duent Colour Softs. I know I um, only have one outstanding, and that one's on order. I won't be hauling that one, and that's grey white. And these are uh, pea green, mid brown, and yellow green. So I now have, apart from that one, which should arrive hopefully by Friday, all 72 of the Colour Softs, which I really love. And uh, it's going to be a case of replacing the ones I've used a lot of uh, before long. I managed to get the third set of Erodoton pencils, which is volumes 7, 8 and 9. So now I have all three sets of these, I have all 90 of the pencils. I do like the way these are set up. I have been using them, that's why they're not all in the same way around. And um, again on Grace's channel she said that there is no real skin tone in this and she's right. Um, if you're not going to blend or try and blend there isn't a skin tone. However, I thought I'd show you this picture that I did from Jade Summers' Quiet Girls. This has all been done with just a Rogerton. This is the first time I've used them. And I'm just going to show you her face. So I don't think that's too bad for a skin tone. But to get that colour, I had to use three or four different colours. So I know some people that don't like blending and Grace is one of them. And that's fine. I just thought I'd give it a go to see what I could come up with. And it's not too bad. Um, like Grace, I do tend to just go straight to either my Polychromos Flesh or my Prismacolor Light Peach for skin. Um, but I thought I'd see what I could do with just the Erodotin. So all this is just uh, Erodotin or Irritin, however you pronounce it. Um, and I'm quite pleased with the way she came out. So anyway, there we go. I thought I would show you that it is, you can do it. It's not easy. It took a while, but uh, you can do it. I also got, thanks to Anne at A Colourful Live, who recommended them, the 152 uh, coloured set of um, feeler pencils. As you can see, I've already done the colour chart. <laughs> it took me two days, actually. These are lovely colours. There's four of these. I do need to get a case for them because this is quite flimsy whimsy. I don't like flimsy whimsy. You do get two pencil sharpeners with it. I'm going to take them out and put them in my pencil sharpener case along with the Tagal. But the colours are really lovely. Some of them lay down better than others but I haven't really used them yet. I might try and use those on my next colouring chat. Although I do just tend to have all my pencils around and look through my colour charts to see which one I want when I'm, I'm doing it. So yes, these are absolutely lovely. You get so many different shades. So in order to use these, I would have to have them all spread out. <laughs> so I really need to get a case for them. So um, expect to see that in the next haul I do when I do do fi do finally do a haul. So in uh, UK, these were on sale on at Amazon for twenty eight ninety nine, which is for one hundred and fifty two pencils. That's really cheap, and they are not bad. 
they really lay down lovely. So for 28.99, 29 quid, I thought, why not? I have to get them. So, and I do like them, and so I will try and use some of those on colour and chat when I do the next one, which will I forgot to put that back in. I'll put it in later. Uh, probably be this weekend. Now on to the colouring books. Hooray! So I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colouring books to show you that I've bought within the last month or so, and I'm just going to pull them over. Right, that's better. So the first one I got is not actually for my colouring book collection, it's for my Marilyn collection, and it is a Marilyn Monroe adult colouring book. So I'll just show you a few pictures. It's very small, this book. The quality's not brilliant. But there are some just pictures of Marilyn. Some of them are based on artwork, some of them are based, uh, look like photographs, some of them are line drawings. One of them isn't even Marilyn, it's actually, let me just find it, if I can find it. It's one of the Seven Year Itch pictures, and it's this one, and it's actually based on a photograph of a lookalike uh, impersonator named Susan Griffiths. But who cares? It's Marilyn, and we love Marilyn, so there's that one. I also did what everybody else has done recently and bought myself a copy of Johanna Batford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, A Magical Tale to Colour. I thought this would be very nice. I'm going to start at the beginning and work my way through it and then when my little girl's older I can give her the book as a present and she can read the story. So I just thought that would be nice so I will start on the cover page. It's very nice smooth paper and then I will, I'm just going to work through it a bit at a time. I might even start doing it today after I've finished doing this video. You never know. I also got Jade Summer Vampires Volume 2 I love the Jade Summer brand. Um, I love the artwork. There's some lovely ones in this one. I can, I will do a proper flip, flip through this at some point. Just very quickly, there are some great vampire pictures in here. So I got that one. So I, do, I am slowly getting a lot of Jade Summer books. I've probably got it in, I'm into double digits <laughs> because I just sort of buy a couple every month or one every month. Um, so I got that one. As soon as it was available, I also got Jade Summer, the newest colouring book, which is the Christmas one, because Christmas is coming. So yes, I bought the Jade Summer Christmas colouring book. And again, I'll do a flip through of this for you fairly soon. We get two copies, and of course you can get the PDF as well once you've bought it. Happy holidays! So, yes. I, I do really, really love that. It's, and it's different because it's not all people. You've got the fireplace, a little Christmas puppy, little snowmen, and so on. So it's not all people. So it, it's a really nice book that I'm looking forward to getting stuck into in December. But more about Christmas when I do my colouring chat. However, the Christmas colouring books don't stop there. I still have a couple more. I thought I would try some grayscale, so I bought Ruth Sanderson's Santa's Christmas Grayscale Adult Colouring Book. Now, the reason I picked this one is I've seen some coloured in this book, and I think they look like really old-fashioned Christmas cards. And I really like the idea of those. I love old, like this one. That looks like it'd be on the cover of an old-fashioned Christmas card. Um... So I'm really going to, you know, I'm, I've never really done grayscale, so I'm going to have a go. <laughs> and I might even do it on camera, you never know. So um, from what I understand with pencils and grayscale, it's all about layering. So that's what I'm going to do. Watch some tutorials first on YouTube and uh, see what we can find. Now, I got another Selena Fennec book. And again, it's her fantasy Christmas book, Festive Magic. This isn't over Christmassy, um, but it is nice. It's a little, like, elfy fairy. You know, angels type things. Choir's angels. Seraphina. Snow magic. So they're not really Christmassy, but they are people Christmassy. See, that's a lovely one. Bauble fairy. I'm going to enjoy doing that one, I think. But again, Selena Fennec is one of those artists I really love. Uh, so I am slowly collecting... All of her books as well, so Festive Magic, I had to get it for my collection. 
I'm going to move away from Christmas and go back a season. Um, I did pick up, uh, the first book I bought this month like this, uh, for this haul is actually the Autumn Scenes one by Creative Haven. Um, I didn't do many Halloween pictures this year because I wasn't really feeling 100%. But there are some really nice Autumn Scenes in this one. And uh, even though there's pumpkins on all of them, they're not all Halloween related. Obviously there are some Halloween ones. But for instance, you've got the people with the bikes. And you've got the, the turkey and the Thanksgiving page. So it's not something we celebrate over here in the UK, but I might do a Thanksgiving one near the time. Um, just to say I've done it. So why not? <laughs> and finally, the last colouring book is back to Christmas because I've got plenty of Christmas books now. Yay! But like I said, more about Christmas in colouring chat when I do my colouring chat update. And I got the Creative Haven Vintage Christmas Greetings. So again, this is like old old fashioned Christmas cards. Now, I think these are more like old fashioned American Christmas cards because the Ruth Sanderson Grayscale is more like British Christmas cards. Don't ask me why, it's just the feeling I get. But these are so lovely that I thought, why not get this one and add it to the Christmas collection. Here comes a big hearty wish for a Merry Christmas. So yeah, so I will be doing some of those over Christmas. I plan to, um, I think in December, do mostly Christmas pictures. But again, I will go into that on my next colour and chat or colour and catch up because that's what we tend to do. Um, but yeah, so those are all the books I got. So I'm very happy with adding these to my collection. I do have around maybe 70 or 80 books now. I'm not sure. I don't really count them because it would frighten me because I don't do as much colouring as I should or as I used to because I've got so many hobbies as you know. Um, but I will be doing some colouring later today. Like I said I might start Ivy and Inky Butterfly and I might start Jade, Vampire, Jade Summer Vampires, <laughs> who knows? It's just so much to choose from. I also want to do the Knack McPhee Girls from the Terry Pratchett colouring book but I might do that as colouring chat on, I think I'm going to record it Friday and put it up Saturday because it takes so long to edit when I do one of those. <laughs> so, uh, and of course all the lovely supplies I got as well so I'm really happy with this like I said this is the last colouring book and supplies haul for the time being I'm not going to be buying a lot of stuff over the next month or so I may buy a few little bits and pieces but if it's something like colouring books or a set of pencils or stickers <laughs> anything I'll pop them to one side keep them separate and then we can we can go through them all together later I usually do that with the current books even if I color in them I just keep them separate um so yes uh that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed this little little haul um there will be more hauls in the future and flip throughs and color and chats color and catch-ups and we'll see what we can do so I am enjoying watching all the coloring videos um whether it's uh, Colour with Francis, I've subscribed to, Shaleen, obviously, Sweet Nightingale, Jen, Reading with Pugs, and uh, Grace, uh, Grace Fonseca, um, Grace's Colouring Corner. I love you all. And if you've got a colouring channel and I'm not subscribed to you or you don't think I am, leave a link in the comments below and I will go check out your channel because I always love watching colouring videos. So I'll see you all soon. Um, Colour to you enjoy, have fun, and I will see you very soon with some more current videos. Bye!